It's an event that brings women from everywhere to the town of Taylor looking to learn more about how to handle firearms. It's clear that many women are interested in getting firsthand experience, but studies also show bringing a gun into your home can backfire. Grant Herm shares some of the lessons they're taking home. Women at Top Gun Shooting Sports in Taylor. Getting a taste for firearms over the weekend's long event. The event in its 12th year meant to get women into shooting sports and hobbies, mostly dominated by men. Their goal is to get 1,500 women trained. The event even getting attention from national champion shooter Chris Chang, who flew in from San Francisco to train for free. That was a great shot. Yesterday, we're running it at two ranges simultaneously with the 600 mark. We'll definitely make a thousand between the two organizations, the two gun ranges that are running today. 870 tactical. And the message from women there was about protection, like Jennifer, who drove from Illinois for the event. But there's no bigger um, equalizer for a woman than, than a handgun, um, you know, to, to protect themselves. Men are big, bigger than us and stronger than us and you know we can't fight them off. But studies show guns often do put women at risk. According to the Gifford Center to prevent gun violence, American women are 21 times more likely to be killed by a gun than women in other high income countries. And domestic violence victims, often those who are lobbied to buy guns for protection, are five times more likely to be killed if their abuser has access to a gun. Those numbers also increase among low income women and women of color. Despite that, women and people of color, mainly black women, are the fastest growing segment of new gun owners, according to the National Shooting Sports Foundation. The event's organizer saying he has one tip for women today. Personal protection is your responsibility. In Taylor, Grant Herms, Local 4.